guys so right now we discuss that you know what actually supplier is and why it is actually needed we discussed the scenario you know uh, where actually uh, there was a registration page and 10,000 number of times or 20,000 20, number of times you have to pass some random phone number. So you cannot keep on typing every time. Just create a supplier of a phone number and your life is easy. Just simply call that. Keep on calling that supplier. So how it is, how that is done. <coughs> Sorry. I'll quickly explain you guys, right? With the help of an example. So now we are going to IntelliJ. Sorry, NetBeans. And over here, we are going to create a supplier and I'm going to run that code so that you're able to understand. So what is a supplier? Supplier is a functional interface. And how do you declare a functional interface? How it is declared with the help of Lambda expressions. Okay. And how we can pass the implementation of, uh, you know, of this particular stuff, get method, because it is a functional interface. It contains get method. You know, so you have to provide the implementation. So how you provide it? The implementation is provided with the help of Lambda expressions, right? So let's quickly try to understand with the help of example. Okay. So how to provide the implementation of get method? I told you already, I am again reiterating uh, like, like small baby steps. Why? Because, you know, it happens, uh, guys, it happens. Uh, we are human beings we tend to forget if we keep we are not in touch we'll tend to simply forget there are n number of scenarios there are n number of concepts in java you have to keep on revising or just make it a habit of 15 minutes or to 35 minutes on a daily basis otherwise you will keep on learning and you will keep on forgetting it's like you know uh, going to the gym and then again eating 10 burgers on it it becomes a useless kind of stuff. You're going to gym, you're spending money onto your uh, gym on your body, not taking proper care of the calorie count that are, you are required, what kind of body type you have, ectomorph, mesomorph, endomorph, yeah, you know. So you need to have that knowledge of your body itself. And you know, and what I'm sorry, I'm just digressing. Uh, so what the main aim, what I'm trying to say is that keep on revising, otherwise you will simply forget all the concepts, okay? So as I already told you, in order to provide the implementation of a particular interface, what we used to do is that supplier is an interface, right? And I already told you the parameter T. What T over here signifies what the kind of value this supplier is going to supply, right? I am going to create a supplier of phone numbers, right? This phone number it is a supplier and it is it will keep on supplying some sort of phone numbers random generated phone numbers right and what kind of value it's gonna return it is going to return me in the form of an integer okay so it is an integer phone number supplier that kind of stuff right and how we are going to you know provide the implementation we need to provide equal to sign uh, this parenthesis we have to write and then this particular sign okay and then you can just open up your braces and provide the implementation okay. right so this is how we used to provide the implementation so how to generate a random phone number it is saying data statement i'll add it later on so in order to generate a random phone number or random integer of certain digits or certain types it can be your possible interview question as well concept of supplier is also involving some interview question like it, it can be asked to you just write me a code for generating some random integer values right so i'm first trying to make that particular code written over here so that can be done with the help of a class in java known as random class and this class is present in java.util.random okay so i'll create an object of this class random let's say phone number equals new random okay so I've created an object of this particular class. Now what is going to happen with the help of this uh, object or reference variable, we are going to create dot next int or next int integer bound or in int origin integer bound. So there are three different methods we are going to make use of. I am going to make use of over here is with this particular method having an origin and 
start and stop origin you can say that right what it is i'll quickly tell you what i'm coming to over here let's say i want to generate a phone numbers of of starting from 50 to 100 let's say 50 and 100 right i hope this much is clear to, to you guys right and the return type of dot next int was also an integer right so we have to store it into the particular value right phone number pm okay and now i am just going to provide the implementation over here system dot out dot print ln okay and what i'm going to print i'm going to print this particular phone number right and now i am going to return something what i'm going to return i'm going to return this phone number okay and in order to call this particular supplier we have to call the get method right so phone numbers dot sorry phone numbers dot get method this is how you call a particular supplier and now it's going to run so guys first we'll try to run this particular piece of code let's see what happens i'm just saving it i'm going to run this particular file you will be getting some output and then we are going to you know uh, simplify this particular thing build a success so it has given me a random number it has given me a random number from 50 to 100 again if i run it it will give me another random number starting from 50 exclusive of 100 from 50 to 99 right it has given me 90 right so now try to take some bigger examples like phone numbers kind of stuff i am going to start with right and then my boundary value a bound should be let's say so now i would be getting some integer values starting from this value and this particular value in between i would be getting all sort of random numbers right so let's say if I run this particular file, if I run this particular piece of code, currently I'm simply running the supplier code, guys, right? See, I am getting some digit in the form of a phone numbers, right? So this is how, this is how, this is the code, how to generate a random integer number, right? And this particular piece of code can be used further into onto your registration websites where you have to enter the phone numbers. So just you have to call this particular supplier phone numbers dot get every time when you call this supplier it will keep on generating random numbers right if you want to see that you know how many see I have four times I have called this supplier four times I'm going to run this particular file and now what you are going to see over here is that you will be getting four different random phone numbers kind of stuff this is a different this is a different this is a different so your test data is ready right again if i copy it again if i copy it on the fly you would be getting eight different phone numbers i'm just taking a very weird example of generating a random integer values right see all these phone numbers are random none of them will be the same so in this particular way with the help of this random class just create an object of this particular class and make use of this particular method whose return type is a phone uh, sorry whose return type is an integer value what i am doing is that i am simply printing it whatever is returning over here i am storing it and just printing it right and in this supplier this return type is required because i have already told you supply is a functional interface that does not takes any input parameters but it keeps on supplying so now whenever you are calling it see you are not passing any input parameters to this get method like get one two are, are you doing this no we are immediately getting errors right we are not passing any input parameters we are simply calling it and if i call it ten thousand number of times ten thousand number of data i would be getting over here so guys i hope you are able to understand what i was planning to make you people understand right so yes i have just formatted it a little bit so that the code looks better so onto this particular way guys you can make use of suppliers in your daily life this is a simple code the supplier can be of type integer now now what i'm going to do i am going to create a supplier of type string right and this we are going to cover into onto the next lecture
so that uh, lecture does not become lengthy and do not get irritated or frustrated just keep on listening or if you are watching my video keep on watching it keep on practicing it because as i told you right now practice is the key these are small small concepts very easy but if you don't revise they will become like the biggest hurdle of your life in terms of when you are giving an interview right very simple this is how supplier is used this is how supplier is used in a framework in my very first lecture i told you how that supplier is going to look like i hope i have told you if not again i'm just showing you i think this was kind of some code right so this is a boolean supplier suppliers can be of n number of types i will discuss it at the end of my series with the actual automation framework code but at this point of time these are small small examples keep on learning keep on practicing keep on i have made a supplier of phone numbers you can make a supplier of six digit random alphanumeric value right so in that way just keep on learning and keep practicing and just do wonders right thank you for your time and patience thank you